Hello! In this figure we have a quarter circle with the radius of 4 units and inside we have an inscribed circle. Then how can we find the area of this yellow region? To find this area, first we will find the radius of the blue circle. We will start by connecting the center of the blue circle with this point of tangency and then this one. And we will call the radius x. Then because the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency, then what we have here is a square of side x. Now let's connect the center of the quarter circle with this point of tangency. And because these two circles are internally tangent, then this line will pass through the center of the blue circle. Now let this point be point O and this one P. Then the line segment OP is 4 units because this is the radius of the quarter circle. Now let the center of the blue circle be A. Then AP equals X because this is the radius of the blue circle. Then AO equals 4 minus X. And now let this point be point B and this one C. Then in the right triangle AOB we will use the Pythagorean theorem to find X. We will write that x squared plus x squared equals x minus 4 squared. So again, x squared plus x squared equals 4 minus x squared. Then on the left side we will have 2x squared. And on the right side, to remove the parentheses, we will use the formula a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So then on the right side we will have 16 minus 8x plus x squared. Now I will move all the terms to the left side and I will rearrange them. So I will write 2x squared minus x squared plus 8x minus 16 equals 0. Then 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. So now we have x squared plus 8x minus 16 equals 0. Now because here we cannot use factoring, we will use the quadratic formula. The formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In our equation, a is 1, b is 8, and c is negative 16. Then x equals fraction negative 8 plus or minus square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 16. All this over 2 times 1. Then we will have x equals negative 8 plus or minus square root of 128 over 2. Now to simplify this radical, we will write 128 as a product of 64 and 2. Then square root of 64 will be 8. So now we will have negative 8 plus or minus 8 square root of 2 over 2. Then x will be equal to negative 4 plus or minus 4 square root of 2. And because x represents the radius, we need it to be positive. Therefore, we will write that x equals negative 4 plus 4 square root of 2. So this is the radius of the blue circle. And I will add this value to the figure. So x equals negative 4 plus 4 square root of 2. From here, the plan is to find the area of the sector POC, then the area of the triangle AOB, and the sector PAB. Then we will subtract these two areas from the area of the sector POC to find the area of the yellow region. So let's start by finding the area of the triangle. For this, we will multiply the base by the height and we will divide the result by 2. So up here we have the formula and 
the area will be equal to 1 half times negative 4 plus 4 square root of 2 times another negative 4 plus 4 square root of 2. Then to simplify we can start by using FOIL and negative 4 times negative 4 will be positive 16. Negative 4 times 4 square root of 2 will be minus 16 square root of 2. Then 4 square root of 2 times negative 4 will be negative 16 square root of 2. And 4 square root of 2 times 4 square root of 2 will be 32. Then inside the parentheses we will combine like radicals. And we will also add together 16 and 32. Then we will have a equals 1 half. Then 16 plus 32 is 48. And minus 32 square root of 2. And now if we distribute 1 half, then we will have 24 minus 16 square root of 2. And this is the area of the triangle AOB. In the next step, we will find the area of the sector PAB. To find this area, we need to know the measure of this angle. Inside the triangle, this angle is 45 degrees. Then this angle will be 135. Now, the formula for the area of a sector is A equals theta over 360 degrees multiplied by pi r squared. Then the area of the sector PAB will be equal to 135 degrees over 360 multiplied by pi times the radius squared. And the radius is negative 4 plus 4 square root of 2 squared. Now here if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 45, this fraction will become 3 over 8. So now we have a equals 3 over 8 times pi times negative 4 plus 4 square root of 2 squared. And this is the area of the sector PAB. Next we will find the area of the sector POC. This angle is 45 degrees. Then the area of this sector is 45 degrees over 360 degrees multiplied by pi times the radius which is 4 squared. If we simplify this expression then the area equals 2 pi. And now to find the area of the yellow region we will subtract the area of the triangle and the area of the sector PAB from the area of the sector POC. So we will start with 2 pi and we will subtract 24 minus 16 square root of 2 and 3 over 8 pi negative 4 plus 4 square root of 2 squared. And now we will simplify it. So we will write 2 pi minus 24 plus 16 square root of 2 and now here to raise this expression to the second power we will use this formula. So first we will bring down minus 3 over 8 pi then negative 4 squared is 16 then 2 times negative 4 times 4 square root of 2 will be negative 32 square root of 2. So we will write minus 32 square root of 2 plus and now 4 square root of 2 squared is 16 times 2 which is 32. So we will write plus 32. Now let's add these two numbers. So now we have 2 pi minus 24 plus 16 square root of 2 minus 3 over 8 pi multiplied by 48 minus 32 square root of 2. Next we will distribute to remove the parentheses and now we will have 2 pi minus 24 plus 16 
square root of 2 minus 18 pi and plus 12 pi square root of 2. Now we can combine 2 pi and negative 18 pi. So we will have negative 16 pi minus 24 plus 16 square root of 2 plus 12 pi square root of 2. And this is approximately 1.68 square units. So this is the exact area of the yellow region and this is the approximate area. Thank you for watching the whole video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and come back for more math.